Jesus performed the miracle feeding 5,000 people with the two fish and five barley loaves. 자, 이 기적을 체험한 유대인들이 예수님을 임금으로 삼으려고. Those who experienced this miracle, they want, uh, they wanted to make Jesus as their king. 예수님이 도망을 가. So Jesus ran away from them. 아, 예수님 산에 있다가 못 오을 때 무리로 그래서 가버나무로 가. So Jesus went up to the mountainside and then at night he walked on the water and then he went to the village Capernaum. 예, 이튿날 또 따로. But next day the crowd followed him again. 어, 그때 예수님 이렇게 말씀하셨어요. So this is what Jesus said at that time. 예, 너희들이 왜 따라온 줄 알겠어? Why do you follow me? I know why you follow me now. 표적을 본 까닭이 아니고 떡을 먹고 배불러 따라왔다. It's not because that you saw the miraculous signs, but because your stomach was fed, that's why you followed me. 그러면서 이렇게 말씀하셨어요. And then also he said, 아, 이제 떡을 양식으로 일하지 말고 영생하도록 있는 양식으로 해서 하라고 그러죠. Do not work for the the food that will decay, but work for the food that will last forever. 이 양식을 인자가 너에게 주겠다. So the Son of Man will give you this food. 어, 그러니까 뭐랍니까? 우리가 어떻게 하나님 일을 할수 있습니까? Then Jesus' disciples asked, "How can we carry out the work of uh, God?" Then. 예, 그때 예수님 이렇게 말, 하나님께서 보내신 일을 믿는 것이 하나님의 일이라. So the work of God is for you to believe the one God, God sent. 예, 예, 이제 이 말을 못 알아들어서. But the crowd, they didn't understand this, so they, all of them, they left Jesus. Jesus, he said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will not be hungry. And also those who believe in me will not be thirsty. Then the crowd they replied to Jesus that oh you know in the wilderness our uh, forefathers they ate manna in the Moses time. Yeah. But Jesus he said you know all the people who ate manna in the wilderness they all die and then no more. But I give you the true food. I give you true the bread of life. So eat my flesh. Drink my blood. Uh, then all the crowd they were so shocked by listening to this. How can we eat the flesh and drink the blood? But Jesus he said, those who eat my flesh and drink my blood, I will raise them up at the last day. Because my flesh is true food, my drink is the true drink. But all the people who heard this, they didn't understand, so they all left Jesus. But even among the disciples, they said, Oh, the words of Jesus are so difficult to understand. Who can understand this? And also for you, when we explain the gospel chart, you may say, oh, it is difficult to understand. Just the way of salvation is very suitable for us, but the, way, uh, the gospel chart is a bit difficult for us. You may say like that. So a crowd was saying this, then what was Jesus, he was saying to them? So Jesus he said, only the spirit gives life, but flesh counts for nothing. So all the churches start, they are doing this without exception. So it is necessary ministry. So necessary ministry is needed for mankind. Of course, we need a food. We need also healing. 
기적 능력 필요하거든요. Yeah, miracle signs, the miracles, and we we are in need of that. 제가 아프리카 아시아 가면 전부 뭐냐 교회가 이제 필요해요. So when I went to Africa and Asia, they all the churches carrying out the this necessary ministry in the church. 성경이 있다 이거라. Yeah, they say, oh, it's in the Bible. That's why we are doing it. 했다. Jesus healed the disease. 예수님도 먹는 배고플 때 먹는 해결이 됐다. When also Jesus, people were hungry. Jesus fed them. 맞잖아요. Isn't that true? 그렇죠. Yeah, that is right. 필요사이. Yeah, it was the uh, necessary or necessity met ministry. 예수님께서 기적을 행하시고 계속 오니까 하신 말씀. Yeah, because Jesus performed after performing the miracles, the crowd followed him. So that's why this is what Jesus said to them. 이건 무익하리라. He said, only the spirit gives life, but uh, flesh counts for nothing. 이거는요 예비적인 역할이에요. Only this uh, necessary ministry is is a preliminary ministry. 그래서 성경 표적이다 이렇게 말해. That's why necessary ministry is just a sign. Sign is. It is just a sign. 그래 이걸 봐야 될까 아닙니까? That's why you only need to see the sign. 떡 먹고 배부르시면 이걸 봐야 되는데 예수님 말하기 표적을 본게 아니고 떡 먹고 배부러서 날 따라온다 이런 말씀. Oh, if you if they were fed uh, by the food, I mean by the bread, then they should see the sign and then follow Jesus. But because they only their stomach was fed, that's why they follow Jesus. 이거는 예비적 역할에 불과한 거예요. So this necessary ministry, it just uh, it takes role as a preliminary ministry. Of course, ministry. you can also carry out this necessary 그렇죠. ministry. So you can help the poor people. It is such a good thing. 그렇잖아요. 우리가 병들어 치유해주고 좋아요. And also heal the sick people. It is a good thing. 그러나 예비적인 역할. But only it is just the preliminary uh, ministry or role. 그러니까 다 이걸. 필요 사역을 본질 사역 하다가 다 무너진 겁니다. But all the people they carried out this uh, uh, preliminary ministry as their necessary ministry. That's why they all crumbled down in the end. 그래 예수님께서 살리는 영이지 육은 무익하다. That's why Jesus he said only spirit gives life, but flesh comes for nothing. 필요는 하지만 가치는 없다. Even though this uh, necessary ministry is needed for us, but it does not have much value. 여러분 결국 복음 안 주면 흔들립니다. So eventually, if you don't give the gospel to people, even though you carry out this necessary ministry, but it's going to be in vain 그렇죠. in the end. 그러니까 요복 6장 63절에 그만 하니. So that's in John chapter 6 verse 63. 그럼 뭐라고 하십니까? And then what does it? What did he say? 살인의 유무 해놓고 내가 너희 이르는 말은 영이고 생명이다. And also the words I'm telling you is the spirit. 영이고 생명. And 그렇죠. also the life. So, which is the gospel? 그러니까 우리가 이 사역을 못하면 이거는 끝나버리면 아무 의미가 없. So if we don't carry out this valued ministry, if you just finish here, then uh, finish with the necessary ministry, then your ministry does not have much meaning. So, valued ministry should become your essence of your ministry. 그러니까요. 한번 막. 별것 아니 나 뭐하고 막 뜨미를 느끼고 막 응? 맞아. So once you go to overseas countries, you know they carry out so many um, necessary ministry uh, works. 그렇고 막 마이크도 이리 달리 못 뛰잖아. 없는 게 아니지 막 이리 뛰다 저리 뛰고 막 다. You know they call so many people uh, to the pulpit and then they just push people and then. 그래 막또막 마침 줄쫙막 좀 이만. And then after finishing their lecture or the sermon, and then they call for the people to come to the pulpit, and then I line up, yeah, then they they push the people. <laughs> <laughs> so sh people should actually collapse or they should fall down. But if they don't, then they, you know, the pastor hook the leg and then push him down, push them down. What kind of church is that? You know, they are just uh, doing that in the church. 그러니까요. 지구상에 교회가 많은데 실제로 보면 전부 uh, there are so many churches on this earth but what they are doing is just a necessary ministry. 그래서 아까 욕구 5단계를 좀 맥스 맥 뭡니까? 이 메슬로의 욕구 5단계. So Bobby explain about the hierarchies of uh, five needs of mankind. 이게 인간의 욕구예요, 욕구. So these are the the needs of mankind. 
밑으로 갈수록 욕구 강하다고. So the bottom one is actually it is a stronger needs for mankind. 욕 가장 밑에 이것부터 이게 안 채워지면 나머지 필요 없어. So the the bottom one is the strongest needs man should fulfill. 이게 생존 욕구라. So the bottom need is it is a survival needs. 우리나라 기독교도요. 들어올 이렇게 시작했어. Or existence needs. So when a Christian entered into Korea, we also they began the ministry with the, this fulfilling the needs of mankind. 그냥 먹고 사는 거니까 잘살잘 먹고 자, 먹고 자, 사는 게잘 사는 거니까. Because what the Korean people wanted when the Christian it came, then that for them to eat well and then to live well off, that was their needs. That's why the missionaries they preach that oh, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you can live well off, you can be rich. So it is really seeking blessing faith. So then, if church is doing this ministry, then a lot of people flocked into the church. So then, uh, their this the basic needs was met, and they were asking the the another needs. That was the safety needs. So safety needs means that that they want to receive some uh, answers to their problems. That's why people actually went to the prayer centers to receive their answers to their prayer. <laughs> so they bring a lot of people, you know, they put them in the car and then go to prayer center. So whenever you're faced with the problems, you just pack up and then you go to a prayer mountain or prayer center. So many Korean churches actually they brought so many people to the prayer center and then asked them to pray. So by doing this, Korean church actually were revived at that time. So their prayer was answered. So then they were seeking uh, another need. So it's a uh, uh, love and belonging needs or relationship needs. 그러니까 이제 관계를 잘 해야 되니까 이제 치유라든가 상담이라는 속으로 미루게 돼. So in this needs, you need to have a very good relationship with each other. So through uh, counseling or healing. 이것도 욕구 잡습니다. 뭐 잡습니까? 자 존중. Once this need is met, then the need you require is self-esteem needs. 자 존심 막 자, 어쨌든 자기를 좀 알아주는 거죠. So people try to be recognized by others. 뭐 직분이라든가 말이야. Through their positions in the church, they wanted to be treated by others. Uh, let's say if uh, one uh, the believer is uh, fell from the vote from uh, for the uh, to become the elder, then he moved to other church. Because their esteem was hurt. Because I fell. Yeah, I I did not elect it for the elders. Then 그러니까 their pride was hurt. So that, that's why pastors who know about this, they really lure people to give them the position in the church and things like this. Once your self-esteem need was met, then you need to uh, want to fulfill this self-actualization need. To have success and then to go for the politic politics. 내가 볼때이 메슬도가 참 이게 기독교 심리학자인데요. 우리 인간의 욕구 따라서 교회도 이런 식으로 딱 보이다. Maslo was a Christian psychologist, so he really understood the the needs of our mankind very well. 다 뭐예요? 이 뭐냐고? So what are all these then? 나. It was about me. 육심 물질. Physical things or the materialistic things, and also worldly success center. So all these needs actually focuses on me, physical, material things, and worldly success. So who likes this? So this is the fundamental problem of mankind. The Satan planted. Yeah. In other words, it is a problem of Genesis three, six, and eleven. So, yeah, churches are doing what the uh, you know they are doing. Uh, they uh, what uh, they please Satan. 
뭐지도 모르게 그냥 교회가 교회인지 바깥인지 그러니까 이게 지금 그 결과 종교 다운론이 나온 거요. Church is not knowing about this gospel, so they were really pleasing Satan in the church. That's why even the religious pluralism came out. 그렇죠. 이래 되면 뭐 다른 종교는 이래 안 합니까? 다른 종교. What about other religions? Other religions are the same. They are doing this. 어떻게 다른 종교 이거 더 잘해 우리보다? The other religions they are even better than the, the churches. 그러니까 뭐 가면 뭐 똑같은 거야. 뭐그 교회나 뭐 바꾸니까 종교 다 왔는데. So that when you look at the church and other religions, they are actually the same, not no difference. 빨리 회복해. That's why we need to quickly restore. 사단의 전략이 뭡니까? What is the strategy of Satan? 마귀는 절대 영적 무자마다. So Satan's strategy is uh, he make 그렇죠. people uh, ignorant about the spiritual things. 뭐예요? 어둠 아닙니까? 영적 영화를 다 가지고 영적 세계를 제일 모르는 말. So what is the darkness? Darkness. Uh, uh, darkness. So Satan makes people spiritually blind. 그러니까 뭐 영적 이야기 하면 막 아이고 막 그게 재미없다고 이러. That's why when I talk about the spiritual things, people say, "Oh, it is boring and it's no fun." 그 재미없는 게 아니라 그거 모르면 안 되는데 그 재미없다 하고. <laughs> but you know, it, it is really important. But they just say that oh, it is boring and then it is not fun. 전도서 3장 21절 보면 이렇게 말. If you look at Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. 하나님이 하나님들아 인간에게요. 하나님이 그 인간의 마음 속에 영원을 사모하는 마음을 심어놨다. God, uh, God actually set or planted a longing for the eternity in the hearts of men who are separated from God. 모든 인간의 마음 속에는 이게 있어요. 영원을 사모하는 마음. So all the hearts of mankind in there, so they have this longing for eternity. 영원. Eternity. 하나님의 세계. Which is God's world. 그렇죠. 이거는 어떤 것도 채울 수. So they cannot feel this with anything in this world. 그러니까 파스칼은 말한 대로 인간의 안에 중심 가운데 공허한 구멍이 있다. That's why a philosopher Pascal he said God has put a void in the hearts of men. 그걸 어떻게나 채울 수 없다. So this void cannot be filled with anything in this world. 그렇잖아. 그건 하나님을 만나야 되는 거지 다른 방법. Only by meeting God, this void can be filled. 그런데 다른 걸 자꾸 채워야 되냐? 이건 마치 막 If you fill this void with other things, then it's just like you are drinking salty water when you are thirsty. So if you are thirsty, if you keep on drinking salty water, then you become more thirsty. Isn't that so? That's why Psalm chapter 42, verse 1 and 2. 하나님은 내 영혼이 사슴의 시름을 찾다 헤매듯이. My Lord, oh, just like a deer pants for the streams of water, I long for you, Lord. Long for your word. 자 이런 사람들이 왔는데 제자 복음을 안 주고 이러고 앉았으니까 어떻게 되게? So these people who are thirsty for the the word of God, but they don't give the gospel, but they are talking about all these are fulfilling the needs of mankind. 그러면 또 만주 안 됐다고 하고 그렇죠. That's why people, even though they go to church, but their needs was not met, so they moved to other church. 그러니까 프로그램을 하면요, 날좀 하다 또 바꿔야 돼요. 왜 신선 좀 신선도 있다가 또 떨어질 뿐이 또 다시 신선한 거 처음 새로운 거 하면 어좀 신선해요. 그 얼마 못 가면 또 식상해. 또 다시 새로. 그러니까 맨날. So if the church utilizes the program like this to bring the revival in the church, but you have to change the pro, uh, program from time to time because people will get bored about this. 여러분이 그걸 음. 알아야 왜 복음만 말하고 복음을 강조하고 복음을 치수, 복음을 반복 취소하는지 아. That is why you you will know that why we just emphasize, we repeat, and we concentrate on this gospel continuously. 그렇죠. 이게 인간에게 깊은 층에 못 말로 나생 못. So we say this it is a thirst in the deep layer of heart of mankind. 여러분 영혼의 그 깊은 곳에 못 말음. So it is the thirst that, that is a deep layer of your heart. 그거는 여러분이 그냥 맛있는 음식만 되는 게 아니에요. So this uh, thirst in the deep layer of heart, 그렇죠. it cannot be filled with the, the food or any physical food. Or if you, if you drink, it does not mean that you can feel that uh, thirst. Even you have drugs, but you cannot still satisfy this thirst. 네. So this thirst is, it is a longing uh, to seek God. That's why only when you meet God, this uh, thirst is uh, satisfied, 자. quenched. 그래서 예수님께서 오시자마자 
제 공생의 사회 첫 출발하시면 하신 말씀. So that is why when Jesus came to this earth, when he started his public ministry, this was his first word. 회개하라. 하나님 나라가 가까이 왔다. Repent. God's kingdom is near. 회개하고 복음을 믿으라. Repent and believe in the gospel. 왜? 하나님 나라가 가까이 왔으니까. It's because God's kingdom is near. 기도를 가르치자. 뭐 이런 일 하지 말아. 나라의 임하옵시오. 그리고. When also Jesus taught prayer to his disciples, don't pray any other things, but may your kingdom come, you pray like this. Also, do not worry about what to eat, what to wear. You have a little faith. Look, look at the birds in the sky. Who feed them? Am I not the one? Look at the birds. Look at the, the lilies of the field. The who clothed them? Isn't an eye that I clothed them? What about how much more you? You of little faith. You must seek first God's kingdom and His righteousness. Then all these things shall be added unto you. 자 여러분이 앞에 일, 이 번을 알아야. So only when you understand gospel chart number and number two, then you can fully understand the whole gospel chart. So the principle of God's creation and the fallen world. Only when you understand these two, then you will understand what the gospel is. Only. So it is restored only through Christ. It is God's kingdom that is restored only through Christ. So this gospel, uh, it is the gospel of God's kingdom 자, that is restored only through Christ. So Jesus, when 그렇죠? he talked about the gospel, he talked about the gospel of God's kingdom. God, Jesus also talked about the gospel of heaven. But disciples were different. They spoke of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So in order to be saved, we must believe in the Christ, the disciples said. And then Jesus Christ, he resurrected from the dead. Why, how come the Jesus gospel and disciples gospel are different? Christ, Jesus, he talked about the gospel of God's kingdom, but Jesus' disciples talked about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why is it like that? So you must have understanding about this. So Paul, who understood this, what did he say? Paul, he said, he preached God's kingdom first, and then he told everything about Jesus Christ. 그렇죠. 바울의 마지막 사도행 28장 30절 보면 하나 2년 동안 이틀 동안 하나님 나라의 비밀을 하나님 나라를 전파하고 주 예수에 관한 모든 걸 가르쳤다. For two whole years, Paul he preached God's kingdom first, and then he told everything concerning Jesus Christ. Acts 28, 31. So Paul he had these two things: God's kingdom and Jesus Christ. 자 예수님은 하나님 나라를 선포하셨고. Jesus Christ he proclaimed God's kingdom on this earth. 또 하나님 나라에 들어오라고 말씀. And also Jesus is inviting us to enter into God's kingdom. 어머 어떻게 하게 되니 축 약속했어. And then also he promised when you enter into God's kingdom. 죄인들 만나서요 죄인을 통해서 하나님과의 관계 회복시키도. So Jesus he invited all the sinners and then he he restored the relationship with God. 하나님 나라 들어가면 어떻게 되는지요 잔치 상속 이런 비유 가지고 예수 한 나라에서 축복 얘기하는. So Jesus gave this parable that when they enter into God's kingdom there will be feast and also there will be inheritance. 그 성취가 뭐냐 십자가. So what is the fulfillment of all these promises? That is the cross. 하나님 나라가 직접 성취되는 것이 십자가예요. So God's kingdom realistically was uh, was fulfilled was on the cross. 그러니까 제자들은 약속한 것 성취된 걸 얘기하는 거예요. That's why the disciple of Jesus Christ they talked about what was fulfilled. 그렇죠. 그 차이 뿐이에요. So that's the only difference between. 그러니까 바울이 Christ's gospel and Jesus' gospel. That's why Paul he said he preached God's kingdom first and then taught everything concerning Jesus Christ. That's why we had a gospel chart one and two. 자 하나님의 나라. The first God's kingdom. 이 나라 통치권이 그리스도의 통치. 
So Christ is the ruler of this kingdom. Christ reigns. 자, 하나님 나라가 나라라 할 때는 세 가지 요소. When it comes to the kingdom, then three elements are there. 누가 통치권 갖고 있냐? Who reigns the kingdom? 자, 통치받는 백성이 돼야 돼. Then who are reigned by the king? 그렇죠. 영역이 있어야 돼. The also there need to be a territory for the kingdom. 성경 어떤 때는 통치 관점 그 포인트 두고 설명하고요. 어떤 다스림 반대 통 이게 좀 차이가 있어 보이지? Sometimes God's kingdom is explained from the perspective of the territory or from the perspective of a reign. 하나님 이 나라를 그리스도께 통치권 위임하셨다. Because God entrusted, handed this authority to reign to Jesus. 자이 땅은 사단의 나라. But however, this world, the below world, is Satan's kingdom. 왜냐 사단이 통치. Because Satan is ruler in this kingdom. 그렇죠. I Bob already explained that this. 그래서 예수께 나라 이 마법심에 이렇게 되라. That's why Jesus he told prayer, "May your kingdom come." 이 땅에 하나님 나라가 임해야 된다. So on this earth, God's kingdom must be established. 그래서 통치가 회복돼. And the restore the reign of Christ must be restored on this earth. 그렇죠. 이게 예수님께서 계속 강조하신. So this was what Jesus emphasized continuously. 자 어떻게 이 땅에 하나님 나라가 회복되고? So how then God's kingdom can be established on this earth? 예수님께 이거 하러 오셨다니. Jesus he came to do this work. 그래서 바울은 그리스도의 모든 거 가르쳤다. That's why Paul he said I told everything about Jesus Christ. 그리스도의 십자가. The first is the cross of Christ. 그리스도의 부활. Resurrection of Christ, ascension of Christ, and second coming of Christ. 전부 뭡니까? 하나님 나라 회복관계. So what are all these? It had it all these has something to do with the restoration of God's kingdom. 오셔서 하나님 나라를 선포하시면서 그 성취를 십자가에 하셨어. So when he came, he proclaimed God's kingdom on this earth, and on the cross, he fulfilled that God's kingdom. 그래서 십자는 그리스도 사건이다. That's why we say cross is the incident of Christ. 부활하신 그리스도가 이그 나라의 주가 되시는 거예요. So this resurrected Lord, he becomes the Lord in that God's kingdom. 자 본격적으로 통치에 침하십니다. And then he, in full scale, full scale, he reigns after he ascended into heaven. He becomes the ruler. 그럼 뭡니까? And then, in order to complete God's kingdom, He will come back to this earth again. 세상을 심판하고 완전 하늘에 완성시키고. To judge this world and then to complete God's kingdom on this earth, He will come again. 그러니까 바울이 이 말을 나를 했다고 생각합니다. So I think that when he talked about everything about Jesus Christ, that's that's what it means. He explained about cross, resurrection, ascension, and advent of Christ. 주 예수 가람 모든 걸 가르쳤다 이때 나 이거라 생각. So when he Paul preached God's kingdom first, and then he told everything about Jesus Christ, it means a cross, resurrection, ascension, and second coming. 우리는 여기서요 그리스도 하나님 나라 오일 성 이삭팔 보고. So here we we have the gospel of one, three, and eight. 자. 그러면 이거 하나씩 설명해. So I will explain one by one. 자 그리스의 십자가. The first is the cross of Christ. 자 십자가가 뭐냐? What is the cross? 그리스 사건이다. Cross, we say it is the incident of Christ. 그리스의 행위다. Yeah, cross, it is the story of Christ. 이게 무슨 말입니까? But what does this mean? 요한복음 3장 16절. John 3:16. 하나님이 세상을 이처럼 사랑하다. God, He so loved the world. 그래서 독생자를 주셨습니다. He gave one and only Son. 이는 저를 믿는 자마다 멸망치 않고 영생을 얻게 하라. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. 자, 이게 하나님의 사랑. So this is about what God's love is. 하나님의 사랑. Yeah, John 3:16 is about God's love. 우리는 이 사랑을 아가페. We call this love agape love. 무조건적 사랑. It is unconditional love. 하나님이 이 사랑으로 세상 구원하시. So with this love, God saved. The God wanted to save this world. 왜냐 다른 조건은 안 돼. Because with other conditions, it is impossible to save this world. 조건을 채울 인간은 아무도 없어. If there is a condition to be saved, then there is no one who can be saved. 그렇죠. 그러니까 무조건 세상을 사랑. That's why unconditionally God He loved this world. 하나님이 이 사랑으로 세상을 구원하겠다고 작정. So with this love, God He said He promised to save this world. 왜 그래요? Why? 세상이 타락. 
It's because this world is fallen. 여러분 얼마나 타락했는지 아까 이번에 도표. So you already heard that how much this world was fallen. 그렇잖아. 여러분 우리가 사랑 하는 말이 잘 이해가 안 되는 게 우리 사랑으로 자꾸 생각하니까 이해가 안 돼. So when it comes to love, sometimes we don't understand very well about the God's love because we only limit the God's love with the, uh, as our own love. 우리 인간이 사랑하는 건 전부 조건이 사랑. Because for mankind's love, there is always condition. 부모가 자식을 사랑. Yeah, the parents love their children. 그럼 내 자식 아니면 사랑 안 해. Yeah, if the, the children 그렇죠. are there, not their par, uh, children, they don't love. 자식이니까 사랑하는 거예요. Yeah, only because they're children, so the parents love their children. 친구니까 사랑. Yeah, because they are friends, they love each other. 애인이니까 사랑. Because they are lovers, so they love 그렇죠. each other. 부모니까 사랑. Yeah, they are the couples, so they love each other. 오늘 다 조건적인 사랑이야. So we all All have our love is a conditional love. 자, 그럼 그 조건 가지고 사랑하면 사랑할 수 있을까? So with that condition, can you really love anybody? 언약을 일방적으로 하나님이 언약 분명히 말씀하셨는데 마귀 말 듣고 하는 언약을 어기. God gave them covenant already, but by listening to the words of Satan, they broke the covenant. 그것도 하나님이 되겠다고. Yeah, to become like God, they broke the covenant. 반역이요. It was a treason, a rebel against God. 그래 가지고 완전 마귀 딱 종이 돼 버렸어. So, but by breaking the covenant, they became complete slave to Satan. 그걸 어떻게 하나님 사랑하겠지? But how do you think that God can love this world like that? 뭔 조건으로 사랑하겠어? With what kind of condition do you 그러니까 think that God can love this world? 하나님 무조건 사랑해. That's why Bible says unconditionally God he loved this world. 여러분 하나님의 구원을 잘 이해하셔야 돼. That's why you need to understand God's salvation very well. 여러분 늪에 빠진 사람 보고 나 봐라. If let's say someone is fell into the swamp then you ask him to come out from the swamp. 흔들어 봐라. 흔들어 봐라. And then uh, why don't you shake your body and then you will come out. 흔들면 더 빠져 버려. But if she shakes his body then he will go deeper inside into the swamp. 나오 막 힘써 봐. 힘써 봐. Yeah, why don't you try hard to come out? But if he struggles, then he will go deeper inside. Then what does he have to do? Then you have to say that, oh, don't move, just sit still. Don't move. Yeah, so then he will not go deeper inside, so just uh, remain calm. And then you have to throw the rope to him and then catch the rope. So you have to pull the rope then. Uh, but if you're not strong enough, you will be actually fallen into the swamp together. That's why the stronger people, they, will, they have to pull the rope. So there is no other way than this. To save the people who have fallen into the swamp. People is drowning into the water and then dying, and then you are asking him, "Oh, are you going to repent or not?" But you, first of all, you have to really take him out from the water first. So that is why, in order to save people who have fallen into this fallen world, unconditionally, he had to save them first. 자, 한번 제가 도표를 합니다. So I will, uh, I'm, let me make this into a chart. 자, 이게 타락된 세상. So this is the fallen world. 이게 인간이 지금 마귀 사단의 통치. So in this fallen world, man became slave to Satan, the devil. 노예 종된 인간. So man became slave and servant of Satan here. 열두 가지를. And they were completely seized by 12 problems. So there is no one who can escape from this problem by themselves. How any mankind can win over Satan? They are seized by Satan. That's why by themselves they can never escape from this. Uh, but if you tell them just come out from this, they cannot. So that you have to find the solution for them. That's why God Himself. So this world is heaven. It is above world. It is above all things. What about below? It is the earth. It's a below world. Inside of all things. And this heaven, the above world, is a transcendent world. 
also infinite resources in heaven. 영원한, and also it is an eternal world. What about the below world? 모든 게 안에 so the, the below world has everything is infinite. In dwelling resources and also it has a limitation. It's finite resources and also it's a temporary. 자, 여기 있는 존재는 절대 so all the creation uh, in uh, in this uh, fallen world, they cannot save themselves. Only the God who is a transcendent and eternal can save us. The God plan, God destined to save mankind. But by just making plan is not enough. But he must realistically save mankind. So, but not only he planned to save mankind, but he also sent his one and only son to this world. So this is what it means. God, he so loved this world. He gave his one and only son to us. Who is one and only son? John 1.14, the word became flesh. Philippians 6, 6-8, he is being in the very nature God. Yeah, he is being in very nature God. So he did not uh, consider equality with God, but he made himself nothing and then he became human and then he became obedient to God. Even to Death, he became obedient to God. He died on the cross. In order to become a savior of mankind, he must transcend. He must. Uh, he must be eternal, and he must be. He must have the 자, unlimited resources. So with with these things, he must enter into this world. 그러니까 초월한 존재로서는 이게 안 되니까. But the transcendent being cannot enter into this world as it is. So that's why uh, with, with the physical body, he must enter into this world. That's why Jesus, he said, I came from above. I came because I was sent by my father in heaven. I don't belong to this earth. So you, you have to understand this. So if someone is a uh, savior or a savior, then he must be transcendent. Also, he must be immanent. He is one and only. One. He is a unique son born of God. But he had a physical body. So he is uh, uh, he is so complete God at the same time he is a complete human. Only who is complete God and human at the same time can fulfill our salvation. He fulfilled this on the cross. That's why Jesus on the cross he said it is finished. After fulfilling everything, he ascended into heaven again. That's why, apart from the one, uh, the Son of Man who came from above, uh, there is no one who went up to heaven. Before entering into heaven again, he said, he promised, I will send another counselor to you if I go to heaven. So it is a benefit for you if I go to heaven now. But disciples, oh, please don't go. You know, you don't just leave us alone here. But it is beneficial for you for me to go to heaven. It's because I will send another counselor to you. So this counselor is the, it is a spirit of truth. It, 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 this spirit, Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. And this Holy Spirit will remind you all the words I have said to you. So Jesus, after entering into heaven again, and he received the Holy Spirit from God, and he sent the Holy Spirit to this world. So what is the role of the Holy Spirit? 
So the role of the work of the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit apply the salvation to us. So this is what the salvation of God is. So think to yourself very well. 하나님이 인간을 구원하려고 성삼위 하나님이 합작해서. So in order to save mankind, the triune God, they had a, this combination work. 하나님이. God. 성삼위일치 하나님. When we say God, so love, they're here. God, it means a triune God. 자 이게 하나님의 사랑. So this is uh, about God's 자, love. 자 여기에 로마서 5장 8절을 연결. And it connects to Romans 5:8. Where, while we were still sinners, Christ, Christ for us, He died. God demonstrated His own love for us in this. 자, the cross of Christ. What is the cross? We say it is the incident of Christ. So the death on the cross, it is uh, what uh, God's love was confirmed for us. That is why the cross is the incident of Christ. It's because Christ, he died for us on the cross. So this is what Paul said. Paul, he said, why Christ had to die for us? Yeah, you know, uh, Jesus said he should have died for us. Why? But Christ, he died for us, the Bible says. But instead, Paul, he said, Christ, he died for us. That means that this cross really signifies the incident of Christ. Because Paul, he was assured that Christ, uh, Christ was uh, crucified because he blasphemed God. That's why he firmly believed that. So that's why he thought if he get rid of all the believers of Jesus Christ, then this sect is over. That's why Paul he tried to destroy all the churches and also he tried to capture all the believers of Jesus. Because Paul he thought that Jesus was hung on a cross and died because he blasphemed God. So that was also the, the, the assurance of the Jews. Why the Jews, they came to Pilate and then uh, asked him to crucify Jesus. Pilate, he was a proconsul, even though he had the authority to execute Jesus, but the, the Jews was asking him, but Pilate couldn't find any guilt from Jesus. But he asked the reason, why do you want to crucify Jesus? Because he blasphemed God, the Jews replied. But blaspheming God, it has nothing to do with the Pilate. Because Pilate, he didn't believe God. Yeah, why don't you solve this matter according to your own law? <laughs> but Jews insist that, oh, we don't have such law to execute anybody. So why don't you resolve this matter for us? But why do you think that the Jews, they did this? So they are really aiming at this, uh, Deuteronomy 21-22. Only when they crucify Jesus, then people will consider that, oh, because he blasphemed God, that's why he was hung on a tree and he died. But in the end, the Jews really persuaded Pilate to crucify Jesus, and then they succeeded. So Paul, he really, he was so eager to capture all the believers of Jesus. He got the information that there were believers in Damascus, so he got the permission from, uh, from the high priest, and then he went to capture them. On the way to Damascus, uh, all of a sudden, the bright light shone upon him. So I don't know what kind of light it was, but he fell down, he collapsed. He passed out, so he got blind. But he heard a voice. 
사오라 사오라 어째 나 네가 나를 피발 So so why do you persecute me? 너무 놀라. Then Paul was so shocked. 뭐잖아. 나는 지금 예수님을 없애는 게 하나님에 대한 가장 충성이 생각하고 지금 잡으러 가는데 뭐 나를 피파하다. Because Paul thought that the killing are capturing all the believers of Jesus is really giving faith to God but 주여, 니십니까? Jesus is uh, calling him Saul. So why do you pray? 바울의 기에 분명히 돼. 나는 네가 피파하는 예수다. So then Paul he asked us, uh, who who are you Lord? Then I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. 이 한마디가 바울을 완전 뒤집어 버려. So this one word completely overturned 그렇죠. Paul. 생각해 보세요. So think to yourself. 예수가 하나님보다 죽었다고 생각하는데 그 예수가 살아 가지고 보좌에서 말하니까 완전히 바울이 뒤집어 버려. So Paul he thought that because Jesus blessed him God he was hung on a tree and died but now at the throne Jesus is talking to him I am Jesus whom you are persecuting so he was overturned 바울의 사실은 그 안에 있는 내면의 깊은 모든 영역이 해결되셔야 돼. So that it was the time that all the spiritual problems of his inner world was resolved. 바울이 이때부터 나가자마자 한 말입니다. 그렇죠? 그리스도께서 우리 죽은 거다. So from this moment on, as soon as Paul went out to the field, he proclaimed, "Christ died for us." Cross is the incident of Christ. 여러분이 요걸 알아들이. So you must understand this. 자, 그러면 좀 설명해 주세요. 그리스도가 무발이. Then I will give you more explanation. What is the Christ then? 잘 아시죠? You know this very well, right? The anointed one. 문자의 뜻은 기름 부음 받은. Literally, it means the anointed one. 자, 기름 부어 세우는 직분인데 세 종류. So Christ is the office that is elected by anointed. 선지자, 제사장, 왕. So there are three positions, the offices, like a priest, prophet, and king. 자, 이래 아는 게 그래서 아는 게 아닙니다. So knowing this is not enough. 이거는 뭐? It does not mean that. It does not mean that you really know Christ. 그렇죠. Even people who don't know the gospel, they know. Paul also knew about this. That's why he also was waiting for Messiah to come. He also waited, Messiah must come. Even now, the Jews, they are waiting for the Messiah to come. But their perspective about Messiah was wrong and problem. That's why this is what Paul said. Colossians 2:2. 그리스도는 하나님의 비밀이다. Christ is the mystery of God. 사회도 3장 4절. 나는 이 비밀을 깨달았다. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 4. I came to know this mystery. 여러분이 이 비밀을 알아야 돼. So you also need to know this mystery of Christ. 자, 그 비밀을 바울이 알고 뭐라고 말했습니까? So knowing this mystery, this is what Paul said. 그게 히브리서 10장에 히브리서 나와. That's in Hebrew, book of Hebrew. 10장 19절 22절. In Hebrew chapter 10 verse 19 to 22. And Hebrew 9 11 to 15. 2장 14절 15. Hebrew chapter 2 from verses 14 to 16. 자, 십자가에서 예수님이 피를 못 받게 죽으셨는데 이세 가지가 이루어진 사건이라고 봐요. So Jesus was nailed on the cross. He shed his blood and died. But these three things happened on the cross. 바울이 뭐라고 말합니다? So Paul, what did he say? 예수의 피를 힘입어 담대히 하나님께 나갈 수 있는 새롭고 산 길이 이르다. A new and living way opened for us by the blood of the Jesus Christ. He said. 예수님이 십자가에서 못 박히 죽으실 때, 그렇잖아. 피를 내 죽으신데 그때 예루살렘 성전에 지성소와 성소를 가리 희장이 쫙 지져 버려. When Jesus died on the cross, when he shed his blood, the curtain that is dividing the most holy sanctuary and the sanctuary was torn, splitted. Paul is talking about this. So Paul is talking about this. 누구든지 예수의 피를 힘입어 담대히 하나님께 나갈 수 있는 새롭고 산 길이 열리다. So anyone, anybody has the confidence by the blood of Jesus Christ, they can come before God. 그게 십자가 일이죠. They can enter into the most holy place. That was happened on the cross. That was the fulfillment of John 14. This is what Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So this John 14, 6 was fulfilled on the cross. This is what Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. If it is this, if it is the prophet, ah, sorry, prophet, then he did the true work of the prophet. Two verses, Hebrews chapter nine, verse fifteen. 
And then second is a Hebrew 9:11 to 15. 자, 예수님이 십자가에 못 박혀 죽은 것은 그분이 대제사장으로서 자신 몸을 제물 삼고 하나님께 직접 드린 제사자. The reason Jesus was crucified on the cross, he himself was a great priest that he offered his body as a sacrifice to God. 우리 죄를 단번에 영원히 끝내 버렸다. So um, for all at, at once he finished all our sin problems on the cross. 그게 십자가 사건. So that was the incident of cross. 그래서 마가복 10장 45절 보면 예수님께 인자 온것 성경 받아 성기라고 자기 몸을 제물하고 많은 사람의 대물로 많은 사람의 제성물을 주랍니다. That is why Mark, Mark chapter 10 verse 45 the reason the son of man came was not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. 로마서 8장에 그리스도 안에 생명의 성령법이 죄와 사망의 너희를 해방시켜 And also Romans 8:2 through Jesus Christ the law of spirit of life set you free from the law of sin and death. 이게 성취된 사건. So it was the incident incident that this was fulfilled. 세 번째 뭡니까? What about the third? 자 죽음으로 죽음의 세력자는 마귀를 없애버렸다. So by his own death, he destroyed the devil who holds the power of death. 자, 이게 참 말씀이에요. 어제 죽었는데 죽음이 어떻게 마귀를 없애버린 사건이야? So imagine this. You know he died already, but how come he destroyed the devil who holds the power of death? 자, 그러니까 요한일서 3장 8절의 성취입니다. So it is a fulfillment of 1 John chapter 3 verse 8. 사단은 유대인의 손을 빌어서 빌라도 제단 손을 빌어서 예수 십자가 죽였습니다. So for 그렇죠. Satan powering the hands of the Jews and Pilate they killed the uh, Satan crucified Jesus Christ. 사단은 승리했다고 생각. Satan thought that he had a victory over 그렇죠. Jesus. 근데 성경은이냐 죽음으로 죽음의 세자 마귀를 없애버린. But Bible tells us that by his own death he destroyed the power the, the devil who holds power of death. 왜 그래? Why? 그 증거 뭡니까? What is the evidence of this? 죽음, 지옥, 사단 이거 살아버려. So Jesus overcame the death and hell. He resurrected. 그 죽음은 마귀 제가 죽은 게 아니라는 얘기. 그렇잖아. 사단에 져서 죽은 게 아니라. Yeah, the reason Jesus died on the cross, it was not like a, he was defeated to Satan. 이세 가지를 성취하기 위해서 십자가에서. In order to fulfill, to fulfill these three things, he died on the cross. 그러니까 이걸 몰랐다가 알았다 그 말이요. So Paul he did not know about this but now he came to know 그러니까 about this. 그러니까 바울이 그리스도께서 우리를 죽으셨다 이렇게. That's 말해. why Paul he confessed Christ he died for 십자가는 us. 십자가는 그리스도 사건이다. Yeah, cross is the incident of Christ. 여러분이 이 복음 이게 복음이에요. This is the gospel. 자. Isn't that so? 우리를 위하여. For us. 자. 이 이것이 그리스의 비밀인데. This is the mystery of Christ. 그럼 여러분이 이제 세 가지 우리가 알고 있잖아. So now you know this mystery of Christ. 아까 설명 다 됐죠? So already it was explained before. 누가 그리스도냐 말이야? Then who can be the Christ? 그렇죠. 누가 이 일을 하셨냐? Who did this work? 아 십자가 인사면 예수만 진게 아니고 많은 노예들이 죽고 요만은 사형 방법이 십자가에 틀려 사형 틀까? Carrying of the cross, not only Jesus carried the cross, but a lot of people who died on the cross. There were many. 어떻게 예수 죽은 그거지? 그거는 그리스도 사건. 나머지는 아닙니까? But how come the death of Jesus Christ is the incident of Christ? But what about other people's death on the cross? 그래서 성경은 누가 그리스도라고 우리에게 예언돼 있고 성경이 말하고. That's why Bible tells us that uh, it was prophesied who was the Christ. 고린도 십오 장 삼절. So it's in 1 Corinthians 15:3-5. 그리스도는 성경대로 죽으셨어요. Christ. 장사 되었다가 성경은 사람을 살아났다. Christ he died according to the scripture he was buried and he was raised to life 그렇죠. in 3 days. 그러니까 바울도 그리스도라면 당연히 죽어도 부활해야 된다. 그러므로 예수가 그리스도다 이렇게 말해. Paul that's why he said if he is the Christ rightfully he must die and he must resurrect. 자, 이것은 예언된 것이. This was prophesied. 그게 구약성. So that is the Old Testament. 창세기 3장 15절. Genesis 3:15. 여자의 옷. The offspring of the woman. 아까 다 했죠. 출애굽 3장 18절. And Exodus 3:18, the blood sacrifice. 이마니. And Emmanuel, Isaiah 7:14. 이게 성취된 거. So these three Bible books was fulfilled on the cross. That is. 그래서 마태복음 16장 예수님께 질문하셨고 베드로 대답. So in the New Testament, all these prophecy prophecies were fulfilled. 
That's why Jesus asked this question, who do you say that I am? Who do people say that I am? 주는 그리스도시요 살아계신 하나님의 아들입니다. So Lord, you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. 그렇죠. 바로 이 성취한 그리스도가 예수가. So the one who fulfilled these prophecies was the Christ. He was the Jesus. 뭐냐면, What is the evidence for this? 자, 세 가지 마태복음 18절 2, 3절. So there are three evidences. Matthew chapter 1, 18 to 23. 탄생. He was born of Virgin Mary. 자, 어떻게 애 처녀 애로습니다. How can the virgin can give birth to a child? 성령으로 태어났다. But she was conceived by the Holy Spirit. 그렇죠. 그러니까 성령으로 태어나서 아들을 낳았으니까 아담 손이 아니다. She was conceived by the Holy Spirit and she gave birth to a son. So his, her son is not the Adam's descendant. 문제가 없다. It means he does not have any original sin. 첫째 증거입니다. So it is the first evidence. 자, 죄가 없이 요한복음 19장 17, 3절에 십자가에 죽으래. Without any sin, John 19:17-30, he died on the cross. 십자가에 다 죽었다 이렇게 말씀합니다. But and also he said on the cross it is finished. 왜 아무 죄 없는 십자가에 죽어? Why he did not have any sin at all, but he died on the cross, and he said it is finished. So 그렇죠? it was redemptive death for our sins. 자, and Matthew 28, 1 to 20, he resurrected. 그렇죠. As evidence, he is the Christ. He resurrected. These three things, the Bible says, Jesus is the Christ. The Bible tells these three things and then tells us that Jesus, He is the Christ. 자, Who in the world is this Jesus that He can resurrect? 자, 14절에, That's in John 1.14, the Word became flesh. Philippians 2, verse 6-8, He is being the, in the uh, 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 very nature of God. And John 10:30, God, the Father, and I are one. 하나님의 아들, 하나님이시다. Yeah, He is the Son of God, but at the same time, He is 그러니까, God. 한 위에서 온 분이요. He is the one who came from above. 그러니까 할수 있는 거예요. So He is able to do all 없다. this work. 사도 사장 12절. So there is only 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 one who can do this work. Acts 4:12. 천하 인간의 구원을 와 다른 이름을 주시지 없다. There is no other name given to man by which we must be saved. 여러분 이렇게 해서 아 오직 예수가 그래서. So by this you can confess Jesus. He is the Christ. Only Jesus. He is the Christ. 하나님이 우리에 대한 복음이. So this is the gospel God has given us. 이게 성경 그리스도께서 우리 위해 죽으셨다고. That's why Bible tells us that Christ He died for us. 자, 그래서 여기서 우리를 위하여 간. So for us. 이게 중요합니다. So this is important. 누구를 위해 죽은? So Christ, uh, why, uh, for whom did He die? 우리를 위해서 그리스도가 십자가 죽으시다. Christ, for us He died on the cross. 자 여기는 두 가지 의미예요. So there are two meanings here. 대신 했. So he died for us. 대신 할 때는요, 일대리입니다. 나를 대신 주. He died on behalf of me, so it's a one-on-one -on -one 그렇죠. condition. 구원받은 여러분을 대신해 주실 거예요. So Christ died, you, all of you who are saved. 그럼 몇번 죽어야 돼? Then how many times does he 그렇죠. have to die? 한번 죽었잖아요. But he died only once, right? 그러니까 구원받은 모든 사람 대표하여. So he became the representative. 요 의미가 포함. Of everyone. 자, 이걸 한마디로 말하면 뭐예요? 내포적 대신 것. So we call this inclusive redemption. Yeah, 영어로 inclusive representative. Inclusive redemption. 내포적 대신. 한번 죽어. He died just once. 그렇죠. 거기에 구원받은 모든 사람 포함돼서 죽은 거다. But all the people who are going to be saved are included there. 죽고 살아났다. He died, but he resurrected. 이 중요합니다. It is very important. 여러분이 자 나는 이게 하나님의 구원이. So this is what God's salvation is. 여러분이 믿든 말든. Whether you believe it or not, but it is work of God. It is the fact. So we call this. It is objective salvation. 
That's why the Bible tells us that while we were still sinners. 그렇죠. 하나님이 우리가 전혀 은혜도 안 했어요. 여러분 제 가운데 하나님이 마귀 밑에 살아가고 있는데 하나님이 이루 이방적으로 해놓으신 구원 사건. God did not discuss with us about this, but without uh, discussing it, without asking us, but He already prepared this for us, and 자, He did it. 그러면 여기에 여러분이 이제 이렇게 와야 돼요. 어떻게 이게 구원을 받냐고? Then how can you receive salvation then? 구원은 여기서 관적인 구원 사건이 내게 이게 일어나야 되거든요. 그게 에베소 2장 8절. So this objective salvation instant must be applied to you, right? That's Ephesians chapter 2 verse 89. It says, by God's grace, you have been saved through faith. So we call this, it is a subjective salvation. God's salvation is given to everybody, anybody, but only the one who receives it, they can be saved. That's why the Bible tells us that by God's grace first and then through your face, you can be saved. What is grace? Romans 3, 24. Romans 3, 24. So freely, without paying any price, God has given this to us. So without paying any price, God has given this to us. So salvation cannot be earned with your own effort. No matter how much you try hard, but you make your effort, but that has nothing to do with salvation. But hundred percent, God's salvation is God by God's grace. So to understand more, so let's look at Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. So you are chosen before the creation of the world. So God predestined to save you. So you must be included there. Yeah, before creation of the world, God has chosen you. Even though you are not born yet, but God has chosen you already. And Acts so everyone who was appointed for eternal life, they all believed. So first, the selection of God and at the set time of God, you are saved. So those who were appointed, they all believed. But those who are not appointed, they cannot believe. So when you do uh, evangelism, also understand this. <laughs> so if someone uh, accepts Christ, you shouldn't be too joyful that because it is a God's set time, that's why it happened. Uh, even though they don't accept Christ, but it's okay. But it was not the God's set time for them. Uh, because uh, it is not the set time for them, but you force them to accept Christ. That's why later on you face problems. So you understand this first and evangelize. Uh, that's why even though they didn't accept yesterday, but today they may accept. It, it might be the God's set time, so that's why we need to evangelize again. So 1 Corinthians is 12.3. You cannot acknowledge Jesus as Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Only 맞아요. by God's grace. 100% it is by God's grace. So God's uh, selection, God's uh, plan, and then God's uh, actual work to So <laughs> not by your own power. So don't be confused. Misunderstand. So just as long as you remain inside of 자, this, then you can be saved. So these people who were appointed for salvation, absolutely they will believe. Then what is faith here? So what are the elements for faith? How do you believe? So we, you believe with the element of intellect, emotion, and will. You don't just believe unconditionally, but only when you understand, you can believe. That is why faith comes from hearing, it says. 
복음을 들을 때, 아, 그 이해되니까 그때부터 막 감동도 나고, 그렇죠? 막 신뢰도 생기. So when you hear the gospel, then you are able to understand and you are moved by it. That's why you believe. 이 요소로 믿는다는 겁니다. So uh, with these elements, we say you believe. 자, 믿음의 본질이 뭐냐? Then what is the essence of faith? 믿는다. 이게 세 가지 요소를 믿는데 뭐뭘 믿는 거예요? So you believe uh, with the, these three elements, but what do you 자, believe? 지금까지 왜 열심히 생각하세요? 요걸 받아들인 거예요. So to believe means you receive the fact I explained to you. 이 선포된 복음을 내가 지정의 요소로 받아들인 걸 보고 믿음이라고. So the proclaimed gospel you receive it with the intellect, emotion, and will. We call it uh, you believe. 그렇잖아. 복음을 so? 딱 설명하니까 믿는단 말이야. 아, 맞다. 날 위해 죽으셨구나. 어? 그 말이 절대 mm -hmm. 안 되니까 하나님 날 위해 그리스도의 십자가 죽. Someone explains the gospel to you, then when you listen to it, you are able to understand. You agree that ah, oh, you know, with my own power, it's impossible to save me. That's why God, He, uh, just saved me. So you believe this. Hey, kring ya this akong ilum. But some people they reject it. They they deny. Ah, kung hindi ko nyan ilum. You know how how come you believe such a thing? Yeah, for them they don't really receive it, right? So it's helpless. 이걸 이 선포된 복음을 하나님의 구원을 이 사건을 내가 받아들여. This proclaim the gospel, the work of God, you receive it with your intellect, emotion, and will. 그리스도께서 우리 위해 죽으셨다. So what is the fact that Christ He died for us? 그리스도께서 나를 위해 죽으셨구나. So you receive, you receive the fact that Christ He died for me. 그리스도가 죽을 때 내가 포함돼 죽고 다시 살때 내가 살 살았다. So you are included in Christ's death, and also you are included in Christ's resurrection. 그래서 믿음이란 말, believe in Christ. That is why when it comes to faith, it, we say believe in Christ. 왜 인을 쓰느냐? Why do we put in before Christ? 찾아보세요. 전부 영어 찾아보면 전부 base in Christ. So in English, it is more clear. So it says believe in Christ. 여러분 문법 줘보면요. 뭘 믿는다 그 목적이 나오면 이미 없어야 되고요. But grammatically, when 그렇죠? you believe something, just believe and then objective. 근데 성경 유일하게 여기서만 believe in 이게 항상. But but Bible always when it comes to faith always believe in into, Christ yeah. or believe into Christ. Because it's or, in the original text it is like that. Yeah, not in English but in the original text it is like this. So it, this is what is important. 여러분, 예수가 십자가 죽었다. Jesus he died on the cross. 그건 역사적 사실 믿는 거예요. It is the fact, 그렇죠? but you just believe just the historical fact that oh Jesus he died on the cross. 예수가 십자가 죽었다 하더라. Yeah, someone says that Jesus died on the cross. 아 빌라도의 보고서 이 보면 빌라도가 그 보고 자기가 나중 그 로마 군인들 보고 받았고요. 그 항제 보고예요. 예수가 십자가 다 살았다고. If you look at the uh, report of Pilate uh, uh, there, because he received the report from his soldiers, then he gave this report to Caesar. 역사적 사실을 믿는 거예요. That Christ died on the cross. So that means. So that faith is that you just believe the historical fact. It has nothing to do with the salvation. 구원이 일어나는 것은 이 사건 속에 내가 들어갈 수 있는 그저 포함돼 있어요. How can the work of salvation arise? You must enter into the fact that Christ died for me. 왜냐 그리스도께서 우리를 죽으시기. It's because Christ He died for us. 내가 말했던 내 포적 되시다. So that's why I said it is a inclusive redemption. 그리스도가 죽을 때 내가 포함돼 죽었다. When Christ died, I was included in His death. 그리스도가 살을 때 내가 포함돼 살았다. When Christ resurrected, I was included in in uh, in the life again. 옛 사람은 그리스도 십자가 못 박혀 죽고 매장 대풀이 무덤이. My old self was crucified with Christ and was buried with Christ. 그리스도 어디서 부활했어요? Christ, where did He resurrect? 십자가 부활했나요? Did he resurrect from the cross? He resurrected 그렇죠. from the grave or tomb. Yeah, you must crucify your old self. You must bury. So you must understand. You yourself also included in his uh, death and buried together. Do you receive this fact that you are included in Christ's death and buried together? 
내가 포함돼서 새 생명 살았다. When Christ resurrected, you also gained the new life in Christ. Do you believe that? 그리스도는 자신이 아니 우리를 위해 죽고 살았대. Why Christ? Because he didn't die. He didn't resurrect 그렇죠. for himself, but for us, he died and resurrected. 내가 포함됐다 그 말. In 그리스도 안에 있는 믿음. In Christ means that you are included in this fact, His death and His resurrection. 이 부분을 잘 이해. 왜냐하면 대부분 그리스도인들이 그냥 예수 그리스도 주 부활했다 막그 교리 믿는 거 믿어. 그게 아니에요. 믿음이란 그게 이 사실 받아들여야 돼. So you must understand this fact very well. A lot of people, believers, they just believe, oh, Jesus, He died on the cross. It is just a historical fact. 그래야 다음 말로 연결해. 로마서 6장 3절 11절. Then it can connect to next word. Romans 6, 3 to 11. 바울이 세례를 설명하잖아요. Paul is explaining about the baptism. 찾아보세요. So let's look at the Bible verse. 자, 로마서 6장 잘안 보는 거지. 갑 찾아봐요. Let's look at Romans chapter 6 from verse 3 to 11. 6장 3절에서 한번 6절까지 한번 읽어 봅시다. 우리 Let's read together. 그래서 예수와 합하여 세례를 받는 일은 그의 죽으신과 합하여 세례를 받는 줄 알지 못하니 그러므로 우리가 그의 죽으신과 합하여 세례를 받음으로 그와 함께 장사되었나니 이는 아버지 영광을 말미암아 그리스도를 죽은 자와 다시 살리신 같이 우리도 또한 새 생명 가운데 행하려 하십니다. 만일 우리가 그와 죽으신과 같은 모양으로 연합한 자가 되시면 또한 그의 부활과 같은 모양으로 연합한 자가 되리라. 우리가 알고 우리가 우리 옛 사람이 예수와 함께 함께 십자가에 못 박힌 것은 제 몸이 죽어 다시는 제 종로에 아니하라 아미니. 그렇죠. 세례가 뭐예요? What is baptism? 세례는 믿음의 극화입니다. Baptism is making your faith into a drama. 믿음을 드라마틱하게 나타내는 거예요. So it shows the, your faith dramatically. 그럼 믿음은 내가 설명했잖아. 믿음은 지정의 요소로 이 복음을 선포된 복 받아들인 거다. I already explained. Uh, faith is you uh, receive the proclaimed gospel. 그렇잖아. With the intellect, emotion, and will. 그럼 받아들이는 내용이 그래서 우리 죽으셨다. And the content you receive is a Christ. He died for us. 그래서 죽을 때 내가 포함돼서 죽었다, 매장됐다. Yeah, when Christ, I was united in His death. 그래서 부활할 때 내가 포함돼서 다시 살았다. I was united in His resurrection. 옛 사람은 죽고 매장되고 새 생명 살았다. My old self was crucified with Christ, was buried, and then raised to life again. 그걸 지정 요소 받아들인 게 믿음이라면 세례는 그걸 드라마틱하게 한 거예요. So receiving this this with the intellect, emotion, and will is faith. Then baptism is making this into a drama. 그 세례 어떻게 합니까? How do you perform baptism? In the Presbyterian denomination, you, they usually sprinkle water on the head, right? 침례를 생각, 침례. They don't, people don't understand baptism very well, but think of the baptism 그렇죠. going into the water. 물에, 푹 so being submerged into the water, think of this as baptism. 그렇죠. You are completely uh, you are submerged into the water. <laughs> to have a realistic feeling about this, so it is okay for you to go into the water. Our pastor Kim Chan Woo in Sri Lanka, he really uh, took the people to the riverside and then performed the baptism ceremony there. Why do they go into the water? Yeah, even they have their own clothes wearing, but they go into the water and then their clothes will get wet. Why do they go inside? So completely they become submerged into the water and then they come out of the water again. Why do they do that? Going into the water, what does it signify? Going into the water signifies that we are bearing ourselves. What about coming out of the water? It means it signifies that you raised, you are raised to life with a new life. So you are buried with the Christ, but when you come out of the water, you resurrect with a new life. With the Christ. <laughs> to become a more realistic about the baptism, you know, you why don't you just dig the ground and then put a coffin and you lie yourself there? 
So baptism really signifies making your drama, your faith into a drama. 예수님께서 죽으실 때, 내옛 사람은 죽었어, 내 자식. When Jesus he was crucified, I my older self was crucified with him and was buried together. When Jesus resurrected, I was included in his resurrection as well. So making this face into a drama we call that baptism. But people who don't believe if they perform baptism, then it's just like abating themselves. 믿는 사람이 하면 굉장한 의미가 있는. But those who believe it has really tremendous significant meaning for them. 2000년 전에 일어난 그 사. So this incident took place 2000 years ago. 여러분이 이 복음을 받아들일 때 여러분 호감, 호령이 미친. So when you receive this fact, then it it is effective now. 이렇게 십자가의 사건이 그래서 사건이 내게 일어난 겁니다. Like this, the incident of cross happened to me. 그렇죠. 이때 하나님은 여러분에게 보증으로 보여주세요. So at this time, as a guarantee, what does God give to you? 성령을 선물로 주시. God gives you the filling of the Holy Spirit as gift. 에베소서 1장 13절 성령으로 일어주. The Holy Spirit God gives you this as a. 4장 3절. As gift, Ephesians chapter one verse thirteen and Ephesians four thirty, you are marked with the seal, the seal that the Holy Spirit, and then until the day of the redemption of Christ. 자 그러면 이런 결론이 나옵니다. Then we reach to this conclusion. 그게 고린도후서 오장 십칠절. That's Second Corinthians five seventeen. 누구든지 그리스도 안에 있으면 새로운 피조. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. 그리스도 안에 있으면. If you are in Christ, you are a new creation. 이전 것은 지나갔다. 보라 새시다. The old has gone, the new has come. 그렇죠. 이전 것. What is the? 열두 가지 인생. The old things. The old things are the your twelve life problems. 그렇죠. 여러분 옛 사람 사단에 잡혀서 완전 노예된 열두 가지 인생. Your old self that was seized by Satan. The twelve life problems are the old things. 그거는 지나간 거다. But these all the things have passed away now. 새로운 필요. But you became a new creation. You became a new creation. 뭡니까? 요한복음 1장 10절에 하나님의 자녀가 되고. John 1:12 You became the child of God. 자. 로마서 8장 14절 15절 볼까? And Romans 8:14 to 17. 양자녀가 하나님의 아들. You received the. 하나님의 상속자. You received the spirit of sonship. You became the heir of God. Romans 1장 16, 17 보면 의. And Romans chapter 1, 16, 17, you become righteous now. 자, 요한복음 3장 5절 8절 성령으로 거듭난 것이다. And John 3:58, you are born with the Holy Spirit now. 골로새 1장 13절에 이 흑암에서 건져내서 하나님의 아들 나를 옮기는 것. And Colossians 1:13, you move, you cross over from death to life. 자, 베드로서 2장 9절. And First Peter chapter two verse nine, you are a royal priesthood now. So you have new life with you now. What is the condition to have this? The condition is that you must be in Christ. That's why you need to understand this very well. You are in Christ. So you are united with the Christ now. You are in Christ now. Then you are a new creation. 이전 건 지나간 거다. Who has new life? The old has gone. 옛 사람 죽고 매장식 없다. And your old self was crucified, buried, no more. 그렇죠. 새 생명 가진 하나님의 나라 백성으로 다시 끝나. So you are the people of God's kingdom who has a new life in you. 여러분이 얼마만큼 이걸 각인 하나 시키냐 다른 사는 겁니다. So to how much you you can imprint this in you that really tells everything that that decides everything. 왜 복음을 반복 지속하라? Why do we say that you must repeat, concentrate, and continue on this gospel? 머리로 알고 나가면 사는 모든 생각이 전부 이런 살고 있니까 안 되는 거예요. But even though you understand with your head, but once you leave the training center, then all things will go away from your brain. 자, 그럼 이따가. 부활을 설명하면 이제 더좀더 이제 이게 좀더 차원이 있다. So if I explain about the resurrection later, then you will have more understanding about the the 
uh, Christ. 그래서 여러분이 십자가 신앙 결론이 뭡니까? So what is uh, the the conclusion is what is the faith? 요한복음 19장 3절입니다. We call it cross faith. It is the conclusion John 19:30. 이로 타이머. Jesus he said it is finished. He finished the all on the cross. 누굴 위해 십자가 죽으세요? So for whom Jesus died on the cross? 나를 위해 죽으세요. Yeah, for me he died. 누구 문제를 다 끝냈단 말이야? Then uh, whose problem did he finish? Oh, 내 문제를 끝낸 거예요. He finished my problems. 십자가 끝난 거예요. Yeah, that's why everything is finished on the cross. 그리스도는 담내락하잖아요. That's why we tell you that you must come to an answer with the Christ. It's because Christ finished all your problems. 얼마든지 완전히 새 사람이다. To how much you now became a new creation. 우리는 거듭났다. You are born again. 위로부터 난 거다. You are also born from above. 하늘께로부터 태어났다. 새로. You are born of God. 그렇죠. 새로운 피조. You are a new creation. 그러니까 뭐 과거는 안 나와 상관없어. So all my past has nothing to do with me anymore. 얼마큼 여러분을 사실적으로 믿느냐 따라서 역사는. To how much you realistically believe this fact that decides everything. 그 문제 끝난 거 없어요. Yeah, 그렇죠? your problems are over, no more. 어떤 건 문제 아니다. Nothing can be a problem to you. 왜냐 문제 있고 그 상관없어. 내가 그래서 안 했기 때문에 새로운 피조물이 때 문제 될까 봐. It doesn't matter whether you have problem or not, because as long as you are in Christ, the problem is not the problem anymore. 계속 문제 것이 남아 있다. 그러면 거기 하나님이 다 계획이 그 답을 찾는 그 나무 거예요. But if you think that problem remains on and on, then you must find, seek God's plan within the problem. 그러니까 바울이 그 말했잖아요. Paul, he found his answer. 바울이 육체의 가시 사단의 사자예요. For his problem, Paul had a thorn in his flesh. 그걸 하나님께 세번 기도해. So he earnestly prayed to God three times to get rid of this. Instead of healing Paul, God gave answer to Paul. 네 은혜가 내 은혜 네 족하다. Your grace is sufficient to you. 너는 너무 큰 계시 봐. My grace is sufficient to you. You. 장구하지 않도록 너의 몸을 쳐서 내게 복주게 합니다. Because the revelation you receive from me is too much, too great. So in order not for you to be too conceited. 문제가 아니에요, 그렇죠? 문제 하나님의 계획이. I gave you this problem, the thorn in the flesh. But Paul, he confessed that when I am weak, I am strong. Because God's rest, God's power can rest when I am weak. 자 사단의 사자 영적 문제. So the thorn of the devil, it is the spiritual problem. 여러분 영적 문제 있습니까? Do you have spiritual problems? 계속 기도가 해결 안 되지. Even though you continue to pray, but you don't receive the answer. 엄마님 말고 하나님께 의찬하세요. But don't complain about that. But find God's plan for your problem. 저도 있어요. I also might have my myself have my own problem. 저도 찬하세요. 아 하나님 나를 오직 그리스도 하나님 나 성령 주말에 가르구나. So I found my answer that it is God's will for me to be only God's kingdom, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. 그래 보험에 집중했더니 하나님이 없. That's why I really concentrate on the gospel. Then God made me a person who can really explain this gospel with the gospel chart. 그리고 뭐 문제가 아니잖아요. 축복이. So that's why the problem I had it was not the problem, but it was a blessing instead. 바울이 일평생 바울은 그리스도에 다 배들입니다. So Paul, in his entire life, he confessed that everything else apart from Christ is a rubbish. 바울은 무시로 성령 기도하고 이렇게 말해. So continuously he prayed to God. 그렇죠. 바울만큼 세계복음서고 끝까지 쓰임 받은 사람도 없다. There is no one who was used by God just like Paul and who did the world evangelism like him. 나의 나된 것은 하나님의 은혜로 된 것이. I am what I am is by God's grace. He confessed. 내가 모든 사람보다 더 많이 숙인데 내가 한 것이 아니라고. Even I worked harder than all other disciples, but it is not me. 하나님의 은혜 흩어지지 않아요. 하나님이 하신 거다. Because God's grace within me was not in vain. 여러분이 답을 찾으세요. So that's why, if you think that you have problem, you must find answer to that problem. 여러분이 이걸 말씀을 찾아가지고 이렇게 여러분 도피를 그려가면서 이런 시간을 가지라. So it would be good. You have time to draw this gospel chart and find all the Bible gospel Bible verses here. 그렇죠. 얼마나 참 떨리는 얘기. 나는 지금 너무 이까 막 하더라고 감격돼. So when I really understood this, I was really trembled in fear. 그렇죠. 복음 잘못 때는 뭐 그냥 맨날 어릴 때부터 안기 예수 십자가 부활했다 하고 맨날 고마워. 근데 하고 아무 상관. 
<laughs> but before, when I even was young, I heard the gospel, oh, Jesus Christ died for me, but that was just the knowledge. It has nothing to do with me. 그러니까 여러분이 예, 복음 누리고 또 전달하세요. So you must enjoy this gospel yourself first, and then you need to relay it to others. Yeah. 자, 그러면 한 30분 프로모 시사하시면 되겠네요. So maybe you may have a 30 minutes forum, and then we can have dinner. 마시고 저녁에 한강이 더 하고. So I'll give you another lecture after dinner. 하나님 감사합니다. Father God, thank you. 복음 집중하다가 우리 안에 중요한 영지 문제. So may it be a time we discover important answer as we concentrate on the gospel. So may we find the answer that everything is finished in Christ. So may we discover God's blessing for us. So for the remainder of the time, may you work upon us through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.